but let me read out of my local market here. Um, in Maryland, it says December 2023 market report. It says prices were up strongly across housing um, types in every regional market in December, with the lack of new listings at its lowest level in more than two decades. So not that many people were selling because of obvious reasons, right? Um, so with the lack of new listings in over 23 years, right? After hitting the 23 year high in early November um, 2023, mortgage rates fell through the end of uh, 2023. Declining rates will improve affordability for buyers and could also bring more sellers into the market, resulting in a busy, very busy early market year of 2024. So it's looking very optimistic as far as um, the market goes here. And uh, this covers Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Central Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Panhandle of Maryland. I mean, West Virginia, Panhandle, um, Maryland Eastern Shore, and then the coastal areas of Maryland, Central uh, and Southern Maryland, Northern uh, Virginia as well. Northern, no, North Central Virginia is what it says. That's the bright MLS. And I was just um, going through their um, numbers. So this is their press release that they put out for, they actually put this out three days ago. And it says, um, falling mortgage rates brought more buyers into the market in December, but they faced the same constraints that has been plaguing buyers for the past two years, a serious lack of homes to choose from. There were 13,109 new pending sales through the Bright MLS service area in December, which was up very slightly by 0.5% compared to the extremely low levels of uh, market in activity in December 2022. While transactions were still relatively low in December, home prices rose strongly. The median price was up 8.1% year over year with strong price appreciation for all housing types, example, and it gives example, single family, detached homes, and so on and so forth. So it was uh, definitely a little bit of a surprise to see prices rise so fast in December. Said um, it was definitely a little bit of a surprise to see prices rise so fast in December, said Dr. Lisa Stradivant, um Bright MLS chief economist. Lower mortgage rates entice more buyers, but they're still finding a dearth of inventory. Prices will continue to rise until there are more houses available, right? Uh, just so, some quick numbers here. It talks about the exi existing home sales are still um, sitting tight. There were 11,780 new listings added to the market in December, which is more than two, um, a two-decade low. We talked about that. At the end of 2023, there were just 27,592 active listings on the market, which is down 2 percent from a year ago. That level of inventory translates into 1.52 months of supply. A balanced market would typically have between four and five months of supply. So not enough homes on the market. So the market is not balanced right now. Self-explanatory. Um, so let's say no homes were put on the market from now moving forward or no new homes were built. What they're saying is in a month and a half, all the homes on the market will be sold in this local area and there will be no more homes on the market in this local area.